Hello guys, welcome to my channel WK Project. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use VLOOKUP function. I have already prepared a sample data set from column A to column D with headings. You have a product name, codes, prices, and the names of the suppliers. What we are going to do is to build a drop down list. And then we are going to VLOOK up the price and the name of the supplier corresponding to the product name. So let's erase this data, remove data validation, data, data validation, remove, and let's get started from the beginning. So let's insert the data validation to be the drop down list. Data validation, we have to enter a range right now. So a range we are interested in is located in sheet number one, column A, row three, to the end. Confirm, save, let's get back. And yes, we've created the drop down list, including the list of products from sheet number one. Let's pick one, chocolate. Now we are going to VLOOK up this value and I want to get here the price corresponding to chocolate. Equals sign VLOOK up. VLOOK up function takes three obligatory arguments and the fourth one is optional. The first argument is the search key. It's the value or the product item, in our case, we are looking for. Okay, so we are looking for the product name from cell C4. Dollar sign, comma. The second argument the function takes is the range. The range is the scope where the product name, this value, the search key, is being looked for. So we have to mark the product name sheet number one, like this, the whole range, dollar sign, comma, let's get back. Now I want to get the price here. The price is located in the third column. So the third argument of the VLOOKUP function is index which is the column to be returned so i want to get here the third column i just write three comma the fourth argument as i mentioned is optional but it's very important because uh, it tells the function if the match should be exact and yes we want to find in the specifier range, this value, the specific value. So we have to write zero or false, and it will return the exact value. Close the brackets, confirm enter. This way, we got the price here. Now we can drag this function to the right and modify it a little. A swap the numbers of the columns. Instead of three, we are going to write four. And this way, we will get the fourth column here. So press enter. It looks nice. Let's check it if, if it works. Let's pick another product, ketchup. It works. Ketchup is for one euro seventeen. The supply is hundreds i hope you like the video if you like it you can subscribe and thanks for watching see you soon